All right, guys, so today we're looking at the 2500 HD Duramax engine in this 2021 Silverado. Uh, this is the custom trim. I've done a few videos on this. You've seen this on the channel, but I've had this now almost five months, uh, four and a half, five months now. I've really liked it. I've only put about 1,900 miles on it, so I don't have a ton of miles on it. But one thing I want to check right now is I want to I check the oil because these come you know, all prepared from the dealer and from the manufacturer. And I've never checked the oil and I want to make sure the oil level is good, make sure it's not running low, make sure it, I mean, you know, it could be burning oil these first couple thousand miles. So I want to check that, go through, make sure, uh, really the first time looking at the oil, I want to make sure that that's good. So let's get up under the hood here. We got the hood popped open and let's take a look at the oil. Okay, this engine bay is, this is a tall truck. This is a stock level. It's not lifted or leveled or anything. This is a stock stock height of the truck so I need the step stool to get up into the uh, engine bay so if we get up here on the engine bay on the driver's side this is the driver's side this is our passenger side of the vehicle here uh, back here is our oil fill it, you can see right there it says uh, we have an engine weight 15w40 is the uh, engine oil and then right below there is our oil dipstick so luckily they haven't gone away from a manual dipstick and let's uh, let's pull that dipstick out. Okay, I just have a paper towel here that I can use to wipe the dipstick off once we pull it out. Okay, luckily this is a pretty easily readable uh, dipstick here if you can if we can see here it's a uh, it's kind of like a braided wire dipstick, and then it has a little end on it that has these hash marks on it. And so we want to make sure that the oil level is right between the hash marks. So we'll put it back down in there. Now we've okay, we've got that part all wiped off. And really, we just want to make sure that we're not running the oil low that's the that's the really concern you know it's been five four and a half five months as we've owned this make sure that it's fully seated down I like to we'll turn this a little bit just so it coats both sides of the dipstick here you can kind of see right there you can see the level right there it's all it's actually right up to the top of the top of the hash marks. So that's good news. So that means our oil is good. No need to really be concerned about it. Um, it's not due to be changed yet. Luckily with these new trucks, uh, GM will change the oil f for free, the first oil change. So as soon as the oil life monitor inside the truck, says that it's time to change it. I'll take it in the dealer. It says it's supposed to be around 5,000 miles, so we've still got 3,000 miles more. Okay, guys, so I'm just looking at this. Uh, this is my diesel engine supplement booklet, uh, part of the owner's manual, and just wanted to point out a few things. When checking the engine oil, let's see here. It says to be checked every 400 miles. That seems a little excessive, but... You know, that's almost every time you fill it up, so it might not be a bad idea when you're at the gas station filling this up with diesel, uh, just check the engine oil. There is a low oil warning light that can come on, but to get an accurate reading, you want to be on level ground. Check the engine oil level after the engine's been off for at least two hours, so you want to wait at least two hours. So it's almost, it would be kind of hard to do that in the, at the gas station, right? Um... If unable to wait the two hours, wait at least 15 minutes if the engine's warm, 30 minutes if the engine's not warm. Pull the dipstick, wipe it with a clean paper towel, put it back down, uh, keeping the tip level. So if it's down at the very bottom, you add, we're up, we're up at the very top here on ours, so we're good to go. If it's down at the bottom to get it to the proper level, we're showing that we need to add one quart of oil to bring up that level. And then just a warning, uh, don't add too much oil. You don't want to have uh, overfilled. And then our weight is 15W40. 
So that's some good information, basic information if you know anything about vehicles or if you've checked oil or oil changed oils in uh, other vehicles. So nothing really new here other than checking it more frequently. That's not a bad idea to do. Uh, I need to start doing that. But let's go inside the vehicle and we'll check the oil life meter. Okay, I'm just in the cab and I just wanted to go through. So if you can see down here, I have 1895, so almost 1900 miles on this. If I go into the info screen, fuel filter 90%. I filled the def up uh, last month. Fuel range oil percent. So that's interesting that oil life is at 60% with only about 2,000 miles on the engine. So, yeah, I'd say about probably around 5,000 miles it'll probably be ready to change. I might do it sooner than that just because I might, it may not, it may be more than a year before I even get to four to 5,000 miles on this. Pressures are good. Pressure is 60 PSI in the front, 70 in the rear. So they're a little low. I could top those up. It's starting to get cold now. Air filter is good. It's cool that it shows you the air filter life of that as well. Brake pads, wow. 99%. Over the last 50 miles, average 14.7 MPG. That's been mainly city driving too. I haven't done a lot of like long highway drives on this re with this truck. Over the whole life of the vehicle, 14 and a half miles per gallon average. So it's not bad, especially since most of that's been city driving. So anyways, that's how we check the oil. Uh, we'll be doing an oil change uh, when it says it's time. We'll go through that process, but I wanted to just kind of give you an idea on how to check the oil and... We're checking the oil life here in the on the screen. We're just using the steering wheel buttons here. We just scroll through this on this pad here on the right. You can scroll through that. Anyways, guys, well, thanks for watching the video. Be sure to hit that thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel, and we'll see you in the next video. Thanks.